There are three reflections that emerge from our case studies. Firstly, data and scientific evidence are really important in contributing to paradigm shifts in urban policy and action. And we can see from our Latin American cases where scientists and policymakers came together and they were able to convert ideas into action. Secondly, climate change is multidimensional and to tackle these challenges at scale requires political leadership and coordinated action across government departments and agencies. And we've seen that happening from our case study examples in Africa and Asia. And finally, it is critical that any urban climate action is undertaken within the framework of the UN Sustainable Development Goals to ensure a sustainable future for all. And we can see that in the examples that are drawn from across the UN agencies. Looking ahead, cities will continue to face challenges from increasing urbanization. We're already seeing the pandemic, the COVID-19 situation, and climate change will only seek to intensify those efforts. In this context, South-South cooperation can help strengthen solidarity between cities in developing countries, um, in, including by helping them to address shared problems. Uh, for instance, it can do this by helping them to share best practice, ideas, innovation, capacity building and technical assistance, by helping to raise collective voice in international forums, and by securing new finance. In terms of future agendas, uh, there is a scope to explore new avenues for South-South collaboration efforts, uh, particularly in emergent areas of climate-relevant priorities, such as air pollution, uh, ocean and plastic waste, the circular economy, uh, human health, etc. It will also be important to communicate stories of success and for cities to learn from each other's uh, experiences.